Hello, people. Welcome to this week's episode of PHP series, and I believe it has been making sense to you. And you should check out our previous episode if you have not been checking it out. Awesome. So, you know, this week's episode, I- I'm super delighted to share this. Like, I-, I want to say since we started season two, I have been waiting for this time to share this. Yeah, I am super excited to hear this episode to you. Yes. And so, and this is why I am excited. You know, if, if you saw our, uh, is it our heart for season two, for season two premiere now, that where I spoke about the truth finder, you know, in every of our seasons, both season one, there's, there always be one major thing like that, that is kind of same, my own personal, uh, I don't want to use revelation, but the revelation is what I can use. In season one, it was, it was Big Bang reality. Well, where I shared it from my life, my in Ecclesiastes 3.11, how eternity exists in man, how only purpose can fill the void, how every other thing will not fill it, like that. So for season two, it is the truth finder. Now, let me let me start like this. Yeah, yeah I know everybody is so familiar with the story of Adam and Eve, right? Even pagan knows Adam and Eve. You know that I used to think, man, if I was Adam, would I have done what he did? Or if I was Eve, would I have done? But then that's not the story for today. Anyway, so that's not a problem. Well, this is this is the part from from Truth Finder. This is what I got. You know, I was the same person. I'm not trying to change my house now, but you know, we, we learn, we upgrade. And so this is it. This is the second teaching to something I've taught in season one. And I want you to listen very carefully now. I was the same person who told you in season one that, man, whenever you speak, the heart listens to you. Like when you say a word, the heart takes it as a command, not a suggestion. Yes, I said it. Now, you know, in our world today, coaches will tell us about confession, about words of affirmation. In churches, our pastors will tell us about confession. They say, say it. Fine. Coaches will talk about words of affirmation. Read this thing every morning. Read it again before you go to sleep. Awesome. But now, this is the issue. We found out most of these things do not get to work. Like when you make confessions about, hey, I don't want to be sick again. I don't want to be sick again. You should find out you're sick, man. Like, is God not there? Yes. And when you've made words of affirmation, and uh, I am super blessed, I am rich, I am happy, and you still find out that you are still in that bottom level that you are. What is wrong? That is what I want to share here. Now, and, and this is the background story. I will be so explicit to bless you. Amen. I'll be so explicit with this episode, so I'm going to be starting from the background story now. You know, when Adam and Eve, the, the, the first people on earth, they lived earth. The same way we're living earth right now. They lived earth. So these people are not, they're not gods. Okay, maybe they're gods. But they are not gods. They are not mystic. They are not mysterious. They lived earth too, like us, the same way. So they were the first being that lived on earth, according to my life manual. So this is it. When, when I saw in my life manual, we God told them that have dominion, subdue the earth. We, we knew the story. He has created them in his likeness, in his image and likeness and all of that. Now, the, the part where, I'm not trying to be religious, religious people, calm down, now listen to this thing, it will bless you. I'm not trying to be religious here, and I, I, I prayed that I'm able to get this thing across to you, and you will understand it the way I do. Now, this is it. When they were sent out of the Garden of Eden, that beautiful garden we, we read about, yes, and you know, they fell. Oh, don't let me use a Bible word. They were cast out. They became broke. Sapa took them. Yeah, let me just use that one. And so, the, the, the dominion mandate, the dominion power they received from God, when he told them, multiply, have dominion, power, do this, do this, all of those gifts God gave them, <laughs> all of those gifts away God gave them, they lost it. Yes, they lost it. And so this was what happened. When they lost their dominion, before then the earth was listening to them. Yes. 
How did I know the earth was listening to them? I saw in my own life manual where Adam was the one who named all the animals of, of, of the earth. And so we are calling a goat a goat today because Adam called it a goat. We are calling a dog a dog today because Adam called it a dog. If he had called it another thing, that's what we are going to be calling it. So that told me that, man, oh, the earth was really listening to, to her down before the fall. But after the fall, man lost it. Yes. But then that's, that's not the gist. This is where the truth finder comes in. He lost dominion. The earth no longer listens to him after the fall. That's the point. Now, let's now move. Let's fast forward to the time of Abraham in the same manual. And we saw somewhere where, where Abraham was blessed. You know, you know, when we were in primary school, there is this song we used to sing, Abraham blessings. Huh? Even if you go to a public school, it's only if you never attended a nursery school that you would not sing that song. Yes, I'm not sure if they sang that in some Muslims. But in where I went to and some other places that I know, they sang that song. And so Abraham, who had lived earth a very, very long time ago, were still relevant because of <laughs> something I'm going to share that I did. Yeah, it's an hack for greatness that, that I found out anyways. Yes. So we sing Abraham blessings, am I? So we believe in the blessings of Abraham. Yeah, they, I believe they are still singing it in schools today, in primary and nursery schools today. But then let's leave that. This is it. When Abraham came, when we were told about Abraham, he is the father of many nations. We, we knew he never had a kid till when he was old like that. But then there was this part that was, that was salient that probably a lot of people do not take, pay attention to. The part where he offered and get, people get this thing. This is not a religious teaching. I want you to get this part. Abraham talked about, we were told of the part where Abraham offered a gift to one person called Melchizedek. In, that, in, in, in our life manual. I saw it there. I'm not sure if it's inside you, but you should check it. And we were told that Melchizedek is the king of Salem. And Salem means peace. And I remember I saw there that, that we were told that Melchizedek said he do not have a father, he do not have a mother, he came from a more far away country. Maybe I will not go explicitly because if I want to go explicitly like that, I will be jo- linking Melchizedek to Jesus Christ. And that is not what we want to drive out from this uh, teaching.